In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do the basic pinch tie-in. It is uh, kind of a basic little skill that you need to learn when you tie flies, and uh, it's how you apply material to your hook uh, with precision and control. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our material, and I'm right-handed, so uh, my pinch tie-in technique always happens with my left hand. And uh, the reason I do that is because I can control on the back of the shank of the hook where I want this material to go in. Now you can see I am pinching the material with my fingertips. I am not pinching the hook at all. The hook, I'll actually take the material and I'll just take it and rest it on the hook. And you'll get used to how you want to pinch the material and uh, get used to using your thumb and your index finger. And you always want the material to be parallel to the shank of the hook when you tie it in. You don't want to be tying it in like this or off to the side. You always want it to be parallel and it takes a little bit of practice to kind of figure out uh, how to pinch it and uh, what works for you. Now the idea behind the pinch tie-in is that we are using pinch tension to keep the uh, base, kind of the base of these fibers here, nice and stiff and add control. That's going to be where we want to tie it in. Uh, the biggest mistake people make is they try to pinch the material and they do everything right and they lay it on the hook shank but what they've done is uh, their fingers are so far away from the material when they go to tie it in you can see our material uh, just rolls and uh, doesn't cooperate so the idea behind the pinch tie-in is you use your index finger kind of as a guide and what we're going to do is we're going to take our thread and you can see how I just kind of use my index finger as a guide to just uh, place it right where I want to place it and you can see these materials are stiff enough uh, that when they're close to my index finger they don't roll uh, from side to side and uh, kind of get cockeyed on me. So with deer hair there's a little bit of a trick with that as well as I do a loose tie-in. So you can see I don't have too much tension on my thread here and that way uh, I can envelop the entire clump of deer hair without pushing it from side to side. With other materials you don't necessarily need to use uh, this loose tension but with deer hair you do. And uh, what that pinch tie-in allows me to do is I can put thread wraps right where I want them. Then I can keep pinching, wrap down on the material. Once the material has uh, two, three, four wraps on it and then you know it's secure, then you can let go uh, of your pinch. And uh, that way the material uh, is secured and right where you want it to be. And that is the pinch tie-in. A uh, pretty easy technique to uh, learn and to use, but it's absolutely essential uh, to controlling the material and uh, tying good flies. That is the pinch tie-in technique.